like he don't get hurt. He don't look like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, he averaging 125 yards a game. Listen, brother, he got yeah. 500 and something yards rushing right now. He got we 500. Rolling, he got 500 on my Derek Henry man. Smoking sports. We, we back. back Smoking baby. sports back. Yeah, and then yeah. we'll get we'll get to that NFL though. Yeah, yeah. Week five NFL. But on this on it on this we you know we start out local every week. Saint no, Og, bro. Keep y'all head up. I ain't mad with y'all. Y'all 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 lost again. I picked y'all to turn it on around this week, but it's all good. Take that one on the chin, brother. Mar I mean Zachary followed by brother Martin. Nobody probably faced that in the what state. What school was? You know, Saint Og school. They beat them pretty good. I forgot what the score was, but they beat St. Now pretty good. I, I think them two back-to-back -back weeks kind of took this. So that might be the best thing happening to all going forward, them two back-to-back -back games. I think they banged up and shit, so they might hope they quarterback get quarterback situation and everything funny right now. I don't even think they started playing, see? So, you know. I know they 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 all line and shit good, brother. And but another thing with Aug, Aug still young. Aug young. Mm -hmm. You know no. what I'm saying? And Cohen out there the St. James, um, huh? Yeah, Cohen out there the St. James, bro. We knew what was gonna happen, brother. Blow out. Blow. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to St. James, y'all gonna do good on three eight. You know that's why y'all gotta stay right there where y'all at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Carver. I shitted on y'all at the beginning of the season saying y'all it was all with for y'all. Just because I thought y'all was rebuilding and you know. But one thing I did say, I said I take that back because I said, you know, one thing about Carver, at least going to walk through that door. Yeah. I did say that live on this podcast. I said, yeah. Carver don't return nothing on paper. Yeah. But some niggas going to walk in that door at For Carver. Sure. That's that night walk. That night <laughs> yeah, they they, they, they going to get them in that door, in that night walk. You did. You know, so Carver 4-0. I don't Look. care who y'all played. They 4-0. They got to rank 10th in the, in the state. Yeah, Carver ranked 10th in the state right now. 4-0. Shout out to Carver. Big game Saturday. Warren Eastern and Co. Eastern. Eastern. When y'all gonna Saturday. win, brother? When y'all gonna win? When the last time they beat him? 2013. Caper Smith and them. Man. When Caper Smith won Mr. Louisiana. That's the last and time. And I don't Eastern want beat shit him. on and listen, I don't want shit on Warren Eastern and see. I don't want sh I'm not shitting on Warren Eastern, but y'all need much more y'all wasn't even supposed to win that game. Their starting quarterback didn't play that night. Alden Clark didn't play that night. The, the the backup quarterback played that night. That's the reason why Keeper Smith beat him that year at Pan Am. They wouldn't even beat him that year. They're like they really been dominating them, son. They ain't beat him since thirteen. Tyron Johnson and Keeper Smith. Keeper Smith was Mr. Louisiana, fifty touchdown, no intercepts. Went to college and played cornerback. Yeah, I but, still was. <laughs> I was fucked up with that. Shout like, out to Keeper Smith. He out here coaching. He had one. Oh yeah. Is I he, know that. Is he back at I, I don't want I, I don't think it's Eastern, brother. But shout out to Caper Smith, got his degree and everything, got a full ride out the deal. That's what's up. And he looked like we a successful. Texas and them, huh? Yeah, he looked like a successful Damn, young. Damn, I, I I thought home was gonna go. Say, play brother, every time I see bro. shout out to Big Lefty. You know they call both of them Lefty. Mm -hmm. His daddy. His daddy real cool guy with Holly Grove. I fuck with your lefty. I always talk to Lefty about that, dog. That dude had a touch. I liked it, his touch and everything. But most important, why I think he could have played at this position, the most important thing of the quarterback position, fuck you, how good your mechanics is, all that, brother. That shit could be worked on. Decision-making can't be worked on. You got to have that. What he did, you got to have that, brother. He threw for 50 touchdowns, bro. One pick in the championship. In the I'm, championship, a tip I'm, drill. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume that may have happened before, like somebody booty. Yeah, who we was no, talking listen, about? What, John David about booty. Him. Yeah, I'm who won Mister Louisiana and went to college and played a different position. It probably happened before. You know, I'm not sure Speedy won Mister Louisiana, did he? No, Speed he didn't win it. Uh uh, Speedy ain't win what, it. What Leonard won it? I think Leonard won something Gatorade player of the year, some shit he probably I think he no, won. Oh yeah, Leonard won Mr. Louisiana. Leonard won. And the year before Landon Collins. 
Landon Collins. Yeah. yeah Landon you see Collins what I'm saying? Gone. No, he the, playing yeah, both yeah. sides of the yeah, ball. Yeah, for Dutch Town. Yeah. The year before Leonard, Landon Collins won, but he was the first one to do this. Offensive player of the year, defensive player, player, player of the year. year. Same year. Yeah. Mr. Louisiana, hands down, he was the best player in the state on both sides of the ball. Because he, listen, some people said he was better than Leonard that running back, brother. <laughs> Dude was all world, all state running back. But he, you know, and like you say, how with that story with Leonard, when you was like, man, Leonard probably would have made the money and everything that he really thought he was going to make if he'd have played linebacker. linebacker. He'd have got the big money. Landon listened when they told him that. Running back ain't the route, brother. Because LSU, he could have went up that play, whatever. Nick Saban said, no, nigga, you a safety. Come over here by me. Number one safety in the country, first round draft pick. Rest is history. He listened when they told him defense was the route. Damn, it still would have been. And that's tough. It it's, it's, I think it was tougher for Because he Leonard. wasn't as big as Leonard. Right. He wasn't as big as Leonard. And I don't think, did Leonard just... Play every down at linebacker at St. Oak? I don't no, think so. No, no, no. I can't remember, but I like don't I think so. I remember that night when they played Curtis that night. He played linebacker the whole night. Right. And right. that's why I say, like, that night right there, looking back on it, brother, that was one of the best performances I ever seen from a player that night. Leonard had, like, 15, 20 tackles, brother. Forced fumble, 75 yard receiving touchdown, 400 yards rushing on Curtis, brother. And he played both sides of the ball that whole night because the game was tight. They you know, beat, they went for is. two and beat Curtis that night. They went, they went for the win. They Leonard punched it in, and they uh, the jump pass shit. The, the nigga, yeah. nigga played like they was about to wildcat it or whatever and. Jump pass and they beat, but Leonard had 400 yards rushing on Curtis that night. 400 yards rushing, brother. That ain't no lie, brother. <laughs> Pull that up. National TV, Leonard had 400 yards rushing on Curtis, dog. <laughs> you <hear me? laughs> Leonard had 400 yards. Why are you the best I have a self, bro? I mean, you know. I ain't gonna lie. I still say, dog, the best running back I ever seen in high school, brother. Sharon Kerry told his bitch He was the number one running back in the country, too. Sharon Kerry, dog. You know, that was just a little bit before, like, motherfuckers was going out to these games and all that. I just was fortunate enough to, my pops, you, dig? He, you know, he went out there taking me to the games when I'm 12 years old and shit and eat 11 and shit. I, that's how I got to see Sharon Kerry and all them dudes, brother. Um, but big game Thursday, like back to, I mean, Saturday. Back to Eastern, brother. I'm pulling for y'all. You know, I'm a Cuff fan all the way. You know, I've been, I, 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 I've been with Cuff since Cuff, when Cuff was Eastern. Like I always tell people, how Eastern struggling to get over the hump right now? That was Cuff in 09. They couldn't beat Neville. Getting to the Dome four years in a row losing. Getting to the Dome, going for the win. Um, what his name? Tonka, rest in peace, the, the legend, what, LG legend, Tonka, quarterback, the little dude got killed. All he had to do was keep the ball. He handed it all. They lost that year. I'm going to tell you who they lost to. A very good player, though. He tore this bitch up. Uh, Terrence McGee. Remember that running back from LSU? He was a high school quarterback. Tore this bitch up. He, you know, he beat Carter that year in the championship, beat Tonka now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then I watched them Speedy sophomore year. Speedy get hurt second play of the championship game. He already got one ankle. They hurt the other. He out the game on two ankles. They lose the championship by eight points with a Wildcat quarterback the whole game. Still was in the game with Neville. Wildcat quarterback the whole game. But, you know, like I tell people, Carl was Eastern. Like, Literally. Blowing games. Blow, better teams than never. They had to get it together. They, they figured it out. We got to spread them out. We can't beat them. And woo -woo. They used to be trying to run in and with Jaluk and them. And Bryce come with this new shit. 
We're going to use our athletes on them. They're going to pound us and use our strength. But Jalou got them. Jalou got one. one. And Blue four. That's what I'm trying to he tell you. He got it. Jalou got it the when speed, he left, though. Speed, huh? No, speeding them junior year, Jalou won it. Left. And he lost. No, they lost with Nathaniel Jones when they lost to East Jeff. That's speeding them senior year. Speeding them. Jalou was a gone. Yeah, man. speeding them. Lost their freshman year in the chip to McGee now. All right. Boom. Junior year, I mean, sophomore year, lost another. Junior year, 17 and 0, undefeated, state champion. Speeding them, that's the year they cut up and got the ESPN 300 shit in the rankings and all that. That's when they really cut up their junior year. The senior year, they ended up, up to the height. Went to the dome, lost. East Jeff. And that, Speedy hurt? No, Speedy wasn't hurt. I always said that was the biggest, like, that was the biggest upset I ever seen. Like, they'd have played that game again 50 nothing. 50, 50 to 6. It was just one of them games like that, brother. It was one of them games where, if, you know, like I always say about the 17 and no Patriots, they play again next week, they whip their ass. That's just my opinion, brother. They beat them on the game. The Patriots play them again the next fucking week, they're going to whip the shit out the Giants, brother. That's just my opinion, Randy Moss. And them. They're going to beat them by two touchdowns they play again. But, you know, they beat them that one night. That that was similar to that. East Jeff had that little quarterback and that little running back, brother. And Hoffer and them little protege, little nigga out Hoffer and them hood, the cornerback, played for TCU and shit. Forgot his name. Darius Ray, Ray, Raymond. Raymond. I forgot the daddy's name. You was nice. Shout out, not taking nothing from that East Jeff team. Y'all gave it to her fucking ass that night. They couldn't stop that read option. That fucking quarterback was keeping that bitch. They couldn't stop it, brother. Y'all won that night. But I just know Carl was the better team. And they won that night. But then uh, after that, after speeding them lost, right? Bikes come in the door. Um, get to the dome. Lose. Then Cable Bryce, Smith? N- no. Uh, I'm going to say no. Bryce first year, he don't even make it to the dome. It's the second round. They playing Cavante Turpin. Remember dude Turpin time? TCU. TCU. Yeah. yeah. Got him two of his way. They playing him. He beat him this show. Because how I can remember that? The championship was Turpin versus Easton. Never beat Easton to get to the dome. I mean, never beat Call to get to the dome and Easton beat Plaquemont to get to the dome. Mm-hmm. And Turpin beat them by itself. He beat both of them. That's what never two or never weakest teams they had no business winning the championship with and lucked up and won it. He beat both of them niggas by themselves, by itself, single handedly. Sending them everywhere. Kick return, cone the back, everything. You hear me? Easton was up 13 nothing on never in the dome for the for the championship though. It's before halftime. We're not talking about LaDame and Tate. Remember, LaTate was tearing his bitch Eastern. up. Eastern. Defensive Kick player of the year. Calling it back. Two lane. The, yeah, defensive mm-hmm. player of the year and all that, right? It's third down and like 17, brother. With like 30 seconds left to go to halftime. LaTate come from out the other side of the field, dog. Jump that bitch. <laughs> he got it in his hand. You know, Turpin the senior. This is a boy fresh off the park. He talented. He a little boy. Took it from him. As they're in there, Tate go get it first. But when they coming down, Turpin took it from him. Take it from him. You hear me? Never school. 13-7 halftime. Never come back and win the game. Tate intercept that ball. Easton going to beat him for real. They were too far behind. Caper Smith then was, you know, they were too far behind. Easton was out. Now, Easton got some hard breaks, brother. I'm, I'm praying for Easton to win the title, brother. Y'all done been through it. I done watched Easton whole run. They luck wasn't as bad as Carl. Like, when Carl lost, they lost. Easton been blowing some of these bitches, like, on the cool, brother. They was out 13 nothing in the dome to Neville. They was out 14 nothing in the dome to Carl. The two times they made it in the dome, they was up by two touchdowns to start the game and lost. Both of them. Both of them. 
13 nothing to Rashad Lawrence and them, that big 99 in the middle who played for LSU. That's who they had. They had Rashad Lawrence and Kevontae Turpin. You know what I mean? Lawrence was like fucking Aaron Donald in high school. By the, you know what I mean? Shit, <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? But, uh... Yeah, that was gonna, that's going to be a good one Saturday, Saturday, bro. I'm pulling for Easton, just because. He gave y'all a whole motherfucking breakdown right quick on Easton Cole. Yeah, you know I'm passionate about yeah, my high school. I'm passionate had, about my local. Listen up now. He didn't give y'all some weight. I'm passionate about my local You now. feel me? You feel me? But now, all right, I got to give you a pick, right, in that game. Man, who you got out of Carl Easton? Pick Cole. Pulling for Easton. <laughs> Pick car. Car too loaded, dog. They loaded, brother. <laughs> they got the number one receiving car in the country. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got the number one receiving car in the country. And the dad, he, he impressed him. And now he ain't doing nothing but getting better. He making his reads. The La quarterback. You know, he was crying in the championship. They say he was playing hurt. He faked the injury. You know, he was he was heartbroken in the championship. He felt like he blew the game. So that alone made Carl scary. Cause he got a chip on his shoulder. And he 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 you know, really everything rely is on his shoulders, brother. Everything on Carl quarterback's shoulder, the whole everything depend on him. He don't turn the ball over, you can't beat him, son. I ain't lying, brother. I got to give props to, to Bryce, bro. Bryce running that fucking offense from Gramlin, brother. That, <laughs> Bryce running that shit from Gramlin, brother. <laughs> Ever since he came in, he running that shit from Gramlin. College. Come straight in. 31, 30, 31 years old when he got the top. No, 29. 29 when he got the top. You know what I'm saying? Uh, from what I'm hearing, I'm like, they're like, he don't want the money or nothing. From what I'm hearing... He he ain't with Carl. He gonna be their coach for a long time, right now. Like he ain't going nowhere. I was saying, you know, he might go somewhere, but maybe he go get him a head coach in college job somewhere when he fit it. You still young. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I be the one me ten. I mean, he been, he been there twenty some years. Yeah, exactly, brother. You know, cause that dude, the offensive genius, brother. You ain't you ain't no offensive genius, dog. I mean, like you 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 an offensive genius, one brother. Since you been the coach, y'all average thirty points a game. One year they average like thirty eight points a game. That when I said that was the best offense I ever seen. Dog, like daddy went all the clock. The year when they went fifteen and zero, and it was like averaging. Close to forty points a game every week, brother. I'm talking about this shit was in. Impeccable. When they went undefeated, they blew never out in the championship and everything. Wasn't a blemish on it, brother. Do the offensive genius, dog. Bryce. Like, that's why I'm saying if somebody, all it takes for somebody big to see it. To, for somebody big to go to somebody big and be like, no. He. We got to give him some money. He, this ain't what he doing and what he done did. Ain't easy, brother. Dude that been in the dome, brother. Nine out of the last 12 years, though. That's strong, brother. Shit, With four titles. <laughs> man, I yeah, just want to see y'all move up. That's the last thing I want to see. I know get my cousin Spike and them be on me. <laughs> my, my West Bank <laughs> partners be on me. I want to see y'all move up. Y'all punishing that shit. I want to see him move up. I want to see y'all play Zachary and them and shit. You dig? Zachary, Rustin, and Katie Hannah. You know what I'm saying? I want to see y'all play that. Just go test the waters. You hear me? I want to see him go play that. Yeah, man. But on to the night, uh, this NFL. Ram, my Rams sticking to it, baby. My Super Bowl pick with the, with the victory tonight. Oh, my yeah. good Seattle team. Yeah, but Rams look good. I mean, Russell Wilson got hurt. Looked like he... Dislocated his finger, broke his finger or something. And I'm calling it, bro. What they said, they, they were saying it this morning. The Seahawks last week could have could have could have been on a three-game losing streak. 
All right, so now Chill the out. Seahawks move to two and three. My one of my bold predictions was that the Seahawks could come and last in that division. Say that just might happen, brother. Because to me, everybody else in the division got a better team than them, brother. They got Russell Wilson, so he could come beat yourself. We done seen it. Like a lot of people had a few better teams than like the Saints and shit on paper and shit and Sean Payton them just come beat you. I'll coach you. But they got the less talent on paper in the division, brother. Seattle. Seattle got the less talent yeah, on paper. Cool. They went and got Alex Collins off the streets, dog. They start running back right now. Alex Collins, brother. Dude was a dog at Arkansas, dude. I fuck with him here, man. But you know, they went and got a nigga off the street. They running back. They defense tore up. They don't got no corners. You hear me? Like, they really hit. But nobody don't want to say it because you're scared of Russell Wilson and what, he, what he'll come do. But Seattle really hit, brother. You know what I'm saying? And like, they, they, like dog, they two and three right now. Seattle ain't going to make the playoff this year. That's a bold prediction for me, dog. Seattle not going to make the playoff this year. They division, brother. Seattle not going to make right, the playoff. They definitely could end up that way. I'm telling you, dog, I think Seattle not going to make the playoffs, brother. beat up on each other and they could beat. Beat up on each you other. Know, two of them could not make it. I mean, yeah. the, the division's so good, fuck, you never know what's going to happen as far as. Life. A few people, I ain't never get it. Woo. A few people who, um. We need a life. Oh, for real? Yeah. A few people who may have the third and fourth seed. Anything can happen. Injuries, whatever, and both, both them fall off. What's up, bro? They got that D, bro. That, that being, that's what stand out to me. In that, and that's that what Frisco got. Like, damn near the same D the Rams got, no Ramsey. They the Rams D with no Rams. They got Bosa coming. They don't got Aaron Donald. But they got Bosa though. It, like Bosa doing some shit. Like yeah, he, but they ain't got Aaron Donald. What I'm saying he's top five in this league. What I'm saying is they defense that good. They got they ain't that good. I mean, they defense good. It's I hard. feel you though they with defense. Bosa and no Rams. They got more pieces all over the defense than the Rams. Man, the, what? Yeah, they do. Boy, I see. Man, the Rams with these line is vicious. Man, they, can't fuck with that. they can't fuck with that. First go, you know, I play the man. Now, uh, niggas be like, why you bring this up? Boy, them people fucking line, them niggas got stars. The only star on the fucking um, line for the Rams is Donald. No, man. Boy, them people got three Dude, niggas with next star- to them good, too, and they in good. They, they top of the good. line. But they fucking line ain't better than the Frisco shit, boy. I don't know, though. I don't know about that one. Bosa. They just got Donald in the middle. No, they ain't just got no Donald, though. They don't. I can't I can't put a name on the other nigga. The other big boy good and they in good. Brock is gone. Brock is gone? Uh, that's LSU. what I'm thinking See, Brock about. Brock is though. gone. You thinking about Brock? Brock was with Donald. Yeah, Brock was with Donald from LSU played with Tyron Matthew them. On that chap on that two thousand. I knew they had a nigga defense. who was a nigga right that there next time. Two thousand eleven defense with Reed and Honey Badge and all of them. Brock was on that line. Him and um, what's your boy name from Minnesota? D Hunter, Daniel Hunter, Pro Bowl every year. They don't be talking about LSU. But that's just a nigga Ramsey. I mean, Ramsey the best con in the league. Yeah, man. nigga went at him tonight though. He went at him tonight. They threw that bitch at him. Metcalf caught him on him tonight. He went at him tonight, brother. I ain't lying. He went at that nigga tonight. Hand down, best in the game, but who don't get their respect in this league to me at Kona, brother? And, like, you know, he going to tell you he the best, and he can say it. T. White. To Davis White, Buffalo Bills, LSU. I'm a rep LSU to the fullest. Nigga don't be catching nothing. No. Dude locking down. When 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 Gilmore won defensive player of the year, dog, he had the identical stats. Dude, the all pro, T. White. Starting at LSU, true freshman. As you see, I'm filing him, Ben. Starting LSU, true freshman. Then as he got older, kick return, all that shit, Sting Day, honey badging him there, leading the nation in kick return, yards, and the, Dude been an athlete. T- T- Davis White, like that, brother. <laughs> you hear me? You be keeping up with him, Steve? Yeah, fucking right. 
They beating the piss out of shit in Buffalo. I fucks with you, Darius White. Yeah, and they got your boy. Bo- Bo- they got the Pro Bowl safety too. Booye. Fuck, fucks on Buffalo. You could say Buffalo got the best team in the league right now. Oh yeah, I mean, that, but 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 I ain't gonna lie. We gonna get to that in a minute. All mm-hmm. like I can see here. See, look. When you know, the motherfucker know, know what this the, this the new era. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, lay it out for y'all. Remember what Brady used to do to coach? The 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 Peyton man and Achilles heel was the Patriots. Josh Allen gonna always be getting his ass whipped by KC. This the week KC gonna win by the 17 point the 10 point. Soon as you think they about to play Buffalo and woo. This one, Tyreek Hill, 200 yard receiver, first quarter. Woo, woo, woo. I know how this shit go. They got them people number. They can't keep up. They be trying to keep up so bad, they can't beat them, brother. They can't beat them, brother. Fuck, I'm with, they can't beat them. Watch. They can't beat them. The Bills played. That's who played Monday or Sunday. Or the Bills can't beat them, brother. Watch. I don't care how bad the Chiefs been looking. They got their number. They got their number, brother. They going to beat them. Watch. I'm just saying. And they're going to beat them good. They Why? ain't played them that many times. They played them twice. They got they, they got their number. They played them twice, brother. I, watch. They're going to beat them again. I feel like they're going to be going back and forth when they touch. Like, I, I ain't no good. back and forth with that. Because I would say Buffalo got the better team right you now. You would have thought Pink was going to go back and forth with Brady and them, huh? Ain't no back and forth. You're going to win once every three years. <laughs> you're going to beat us once when it matters. You're going to beat us two more years from now. You ain't about to beat them right now. Allen them ain't about to beat them right now. So hold I don't up. care so what you it's think, for. you think New England used to just beat up on the coach? Fucking right. That's why the man and they got the bulls. A- AFC Championship game, second round, you're going out, New England. New England or Pittsburgh beating you. You don't remember that ever? I remember, it was but ben, I don't think. It was Ben, Peyton, and Brady. I don't think the Who, Patriots were just one, beating yeah. on the coach, though. Fucking right. I think they beat them in the playoffs. Uh, they, changed once the or fu- twice. they changed the fucking contact rule because of the cause of New England, brother. That's how the coach beat them the next year and beat the fucking Saints in the um, and, I mean uh, and beat the Bears in the Super Bowl that year, brother. The year before, New England whooped their ass, was jamming them up at the line, nigga hitting Marvin Harrison. Them soon they touched the fucking ball. That when they came with that five yards at contact shit, rude shit. That was invented of that AFC. The Patriots beat them when it mattered once or twice or something. Fuck no, a, a few times, and, brother. Cause I think Peyton got the the head to head battle on him. No, he he don't. No, brother. They used to beat them people, brother. Look, in the playoffs, dog. In the playoffs, I I can't remember, but I know I know the Patriots beat them once or twice. In them offs. They beat them in the AFC Championship game one one time. You heard me? That was I'm telling you about with the rule. They fucked them up so bad, niggas couldn't even much get off the line. They were jamming the fuck out of them. Asante Samuel and them. They were jamming the fuck out of them, right? and, 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 and uh, they changed the rule. And then when they changed the rule, the coach beat them the next year and went to the bowl. I'm going to tell you who else beat Peyton Manning up. Upset. The Jets. The Jets beat them one year when they were the best team in the league. Well, so I did it. Yep. The Jets beat them in the second round one year. Just knocked the ass up. But I just think Josh Allen ain't about to be beating my home right now. I can't say it like that, bro, because Buffalo really may have the better team. KC may have a tad bit better offense, but all around team, that D is vicious over there in Buffalo, bro. That D vicious, bro. Nah, you know, I'm that, that D vicious. There is white number. man. That dude's balling, man. Straight up. That's gonna be a good one. I ain't even noticed that they played uh, this week. Yeah, yeah they played. I'm gonna be good. See, I just think Andy Reid versus that coach, all that like they just got the up. They not really ready for them yet. For as everything that come with it, I don't think they're ready yet. from the top. Oh, to the, the last bottom, shit that was a good ass game, bro. I, if, I, if, I, if I'm not KC mistaken, just gonna edge them out. That's all I'm saying. Every time, 
Not yet. They not yet. Man, that's, that's for how, anybody. Who who the fuck KC ain't going to edge out? Right. <laughs> you know right. That's Pat Mahomes them. But I feel like Buffalo is KC part two with a better D. Because KC, they D need to get better, bro. They're not KC part two. Because Allen not the same type of quarterback, brother. I'm telling you, dog. Allen not... Allen, Allen got to get Man, better. Allen a real that. deal, son. Allen a real deal in his own way. But he's still not that traditional beat you from the pocket, nigga. When the nigga come with the yeah, skin, he can beat you from the pocket. No, man, that dude got to do bootlegs and scrambling shit. When it get real, when the defenses make that nigga sit in the pocket, he ain't ready yet. He gonna get there, but he ain't ready yet. He not like rustling them in that pocket, though. I'm serious, brother. He not. You ain't got faith in him. I feel you. He 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 he, he not ready yet in that pocket. He ain't ready. He ain't gone through all this reads and the progressions and. And and shit, he 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 getting better with it. He do all that because he's he good. But what I'm saying is he ain't. He got an. It's another step for him to take. And it's another. It's one more step. He that nigga right there. He cold, but he not a original pocket quarterback, brother. Like and see. When them when certain defensive coordinators know that, they know how to fuck with with, with, with QBs like him. Cause last year when they were playing KC, they were making me mad with the shit they was calling. They were calling design quarterback runs and shit front for him. Trying yeah. to try, trying to get yards and shit, but like they <coughs> You know, the offense ain't what I'm saying is he need like an Andy Reid. The shit that they running, I don't like. They because offense, Josh Allen is a big old quarterback who yeah. can run. He, you know, faster than Ben Roethlisberger and shit. Oh, yeah, he can He's move. He's similar to motherfucking, um... He can move. I ain't gonna say Cam them because he just got a can. You know, he can throw this bitch. He ain't got to really run. But he can take some hell at some time. You know, let get some easy yards. He can put I a shoulder on. Yeah, he can put a shoulder on everything. Yeah, he's serious. So I like that game. That's a good game. You got to see the light. No. That's a good game. Yeah, that's the Sunday night game. I think Buffalo KC. Yup, Sunday night. KC giving them two and a half at home. Come on, man. They ain't even over and under fifty six. It's going to the moon. Indiana, Baltimore, Sunday, I mean, Monday night. He got some good games this week. Aaron Rodgers at Cincinnati. But before we even get oh, to this week, I'm, yes. we, go, we still got a little Hold bit up. left for last week. One for last week. Good. One question since we on NFL. Speaking of NFL, bro, you know, Spears talked about him good at the end. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow could win MVP of the league. He keep it up. What what Marcus Spears said today? I've I've been preaching that since fucking LSU. He looks he he give you Tom Brady vibes, man. He give you Tom Brady vibes. Like this little dude here, huh? He give you Tom Brady vibes, bro. Joe Burrow. He's slinging that rock. He talking that shit. He's confident. You heard that boy say, man, you can't zero me, man. I dare y'all blitz all the motherfuckers. I'm going to eat you up. Right. You hear he mic'd up. That's what he telling you. Y'all can't zero me. Give me the ball, coach. Y'all can't zero me. He on some MJ shit, man. Right. Come on, man. He make you feel good about this shit. And he, he, he can't fuck with him with it. He cool. And, I, and I, you know, and you got to target with him. Because I feel like one day Jamal Chase going to be the best receiver in football. I feel like he that good. I Man, feel he like he got some targets with him. We got T. Higgins. And Dude. boy. Tyler and boy. boy was but he, just as far as coming out in high prospects. T. Higgins and Chase. And Tyler Boy. Come from Pitt. Them dude was highly gay. I told it. But you know, I know T. Higgins was one of the best coming out of high school. I just ain't for sure about Boy yeah, coming boy out of was, high school. Boy neither. was one of the best in the but country. I know he did his thing at Pitt. At Pitt, yeah. But Jamar Chase, number one receiver coming out of high school, number one receiver in coming the draft. out of college. Yeah, 
you know, T. Higgins was right up there with him. You know, T. Higgins came out the year before him, though, right? Yeah, T. Higgins was a five-star recruit, brother. <laughs> yes, indeed. You know, he was arguably the best one at Clemson when he was there, mm-hmm. him and your boy. John Ross. But, you know, they battled together in a, in a, in a chip, T. Higgins and Chase. Both of them won that, you know. Fuck it, right? I fuck with T. Higgins. They got them two studs, and they got the best young safety in the league, Jesse Bates. You know what I'm saying? Like... They nice, brother. Ooh, they nice. Joe Mixon, they nice. Got a Joe tight. Joe Mixon, arguably one of the best backs in the league. Got a tight end. They got a nice tight end, everything. And they say Zach Taylor, you know, I heard a lot of good things about Zach Taylor. They coach. That's their coach name, Zach Taylor. Heard a lot of good things about him. Before the beat his offensive mind, you know. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. I got I got sense of winning that division up. Huh? I got sense of giving it the making it a show against Aaron Rodgers this weekend. Oh no, I got that as the upset. I think what happened, like they could pull off a Saints on y'all. They could come be the Saints and punish y'all. They could come they could come repeat that. They could come do that. Not, now, not, I don't know. Aaron not Rodgers that, gonna put some points. Yeah, on not, board. not that they gonna have to score to beat Aaron Rodgers this week, and I think they clicking. I think they right right now. You know, you gonna have to score thirty to beat him. And look, this once again, he's gonna show you. That's why I say, and he gonna prove it every week. Just this, this another week for Jamal Chase to go against another premier corner. To show you, to show the league, I'm coming. I'm coming to take what's mine, the top spot in the league. Dude said that his draft night. I'm coming to be the best in the game. I'm coming to break all the records. I'm coming to be the best in the game. I'm fucking with that. Dude, dude with said that. that his draft night. I'm coming. I ain't coming to just be. I'm coming. Yeah, straight out the gate, his draft night. I'm coming to break all the records and everything in the league. I won't be the best. You hear me? <laughs> I'm fucking with that. Yeah. I'm you fuck- got Joe Burrow talking that shit. You got Jamal Chase talking that and shit. With, with Jamal Chase, you got him going against arguably the top corner in the league right now, Jair Alexander, the boy from doing Green Bay, doing, doing his thing, thing, the pro bowler. So, Chase, we're going to see what you made of tonight. And dude, the certified veteran. Jav- he a vet now, Jair Alexander. Fast. You know, he they say he the best man-to-man cover corner in the game right now. Him, Jair Alexander. You hear me? For Green Bay. Like, dude, See, but, Chase, he, he can take the top off, bro. That's why. Yeah, and he a route runner. Hell of yeah, a route runner. Yeah, he a route runner, big cat. Who could, you know and you know who he, you remind me of? Demetrius Thomas. I think that's a good comparison. Yes, indeed. Big, strong, he plays just fast. Like them. But you could line them up in the backfield and hand it off to him like running back. They could get that. They, they, see, they, did it, they used to do it at LSU with him. You know, they don't really do that in the league. He did right receiver. I'm saying he's just that type. Like how you might see Tariq Hill come in motion. And now he has single back, backed up by himself. I just seen Andy Reid hand that bitch to Tariq on the stretch. You could do that with Chase. Jet sweep, Chase going to get that bitch and cut and lay that head down and everything like a running back. Dog. Like he, he could do it all, brother. That's why I see him really being the best re- receiver in the league. I see him becoming the best receiver in the league. It wouldn't surprise me if he do that. That dude cold, dog. Can't nothing he... They going to... They gonna, I don't know if they, this going to be surprising, but I think... And, dog, they, they do better than thing. Baltimore on paper. Who? In their division, Cincinnati. Baltimore lost some shit, dog. Marcus Peters. Uh, they let some people on their defense go better. Your All their running backs... Because it's Cincinnati, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, and who? Cleveland. Mm-hmm. So, Cincy, Baltimore. Second best and division Cleveland. in football. Second best division in. Second best. I mean, no. you know, they arguably the best division, them and no, the uh, Rams no. now. But then they got the AFC West doing their thing right now. How are you not doing your thing like them? Chargers. No, I'm talking about the AFC West and the argument too is what I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm saying they all their teams three and one and shit. But the uh Denver them? Denver them division? No. Cincy, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, No, Cleveland. Pittsburgh shits. 
That they the only one. All right. Ain't no only one in KC them division. You got Denver, Oakland, KC, and KC got the pool record, but this KC. So KC, you see what I'm saying? You got KC, Denver, Oakland, and the Chargers. They're in the argument. I don't think that division better than Pittsburgh division, though. I don't think so. I get a slight edge to Pittsburgh division. But if somebody else comes say, man, look at That's this AFC. Look at this AFC Chargers, West. Chargers, Denver, KC. And Los Angeles. I mean, Las Vegas. And Oakland. Yeah, Las Vegas. It's, it's really a good a good division because Oakland doing anything for sure. Chargers, we kind of, I kind of figured they'll be doing anything. That is a tough division. It just, and you know why I would say there's harder? The quarterbacks. Where they playing at? They playing in Sunday. snow and shit yeah, and for playing, the most part. They playing AFC West. <laughs> they playing yeah. in San Diego. <laughs> Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> it's feeling good over here. <laughs> boy, Cleveland got to go to Baltimore for it's snowing tonight. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Denver the only one where you may get some some bad weather. It'd be cold, though. You go to, no, you go to Denver in November. Boy, it's freezing like a motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, that's the only one in that division where the weather's going to be bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, KC could get bad, too. Yep, KC do get snow. Arrowhead, this shit do snow. KC could get bad, too. Everywhere in the North, though. Everywhere, Everywhere in the you might, North. yeah. It's... NFC North. The only one play inside is Detroit. Men know Minnesota play inside now. They back inside or they outside since they roofed and fell. No, they they inside after that snow shit, huh? Remember they roof fell in? Yeah, some shit happened with the roof. Right. But I think Did it they was put a, another roof? I thought that's the one that was like maybe it was a little open or something. Something happened or it was a, something. I forgot. But uh they got a new stadium, though, I think, Minnesota. Got yeah. a new stadium. <clears throat> they said that's a beautiful city. My mom and them went to a Saints game out there when we played Minnesota in the regular season. Said the Twin Cities, beautiful. Like, they went to New York, Chicago, all that in that same time. And it was like, dog, like the Twin Cities, they probably enjoyed themselves the most in Minnesota. Beautiful. Big, big city, the Twin Cities. But, um... And that division, bro, I'm sticking with my pick, too, to that division. I'm sticking with my pick. I think Minnesota going to win that division, bro. And they won in three. They won in three now? Yeah. They lost again to Cleveland. They lost to fucking Cleveland, dog. They just had some hard games, Yeah, bro. they just had some. But in that division, see, in that, they haven't played Green Bay or nothing yet. I think they won the division game, huh? They, who they opened up with? Who they win is? Damn. Um, it be they Seattle. Be Oh, all right. They, they beat Seattle. They beat Seattle. You heard me? Did they lose a division game? I think they lost to Green Bay. No. They lost to Arizona. Know that. They beat Seattle and lost to Arizona. They lost to Arizona. I want to say, huh? Yeah, Arizona beat them, I think. He lost to Cincy. Cincy, Arizona, clearly. Cincy was the opening game. Joe Burrow can't beat him, but Joe Burrow beat him at home. Yeah, see? Then he lost to at Arizona. They ain't getting it. So they must play a division opponent this week. They ain't about to go five They play weeks. Detroit, 0 oh, 4 Detroit. All right, all right, they get back on track this week. You understand? Know Giving 10. Yeah, beat the piss out of I feel like Detroit is kind of. Ain't about to Not fuck. saying they good. But they gonna play with people with Jared Goff. I, I don't, I don't know if people look at Jared Goff. He like he's some bum or something, cause he uh they traded for Matthew Stafford from. But Jared Goff is not no horrible quarterback, man. No. Jared Goff gonna gonna put up some numbers. You give him, you give him, you give him the right scheme. Give him and the shit. right pieces and shit. Yeah, I think Minnesota should be too much for him though. Yes, indeed, brother. I want to see man our Saints, but and let the Giants come back. Man. Daniel Jones go four hundred throw four hundred yards. Barkley do his thing, win his game, come back in overtime and take it from us. Why we didn't go at Gilmo, dog? How we didn't get that boy, man? They gave a six mile drive pickup for that boy, man. I know we could have gave New England something for man, the boy. What? Him and Lattimore? 
And then we let Carolina get that. Yeah, man. see, and you know, man. I would say that's probably the only division they would have wanted to send somebody to the Patriots. Go get, go take fucking time out. You know what I'm saying? Somebody over there, Saints, <laughs> Carolina, it's, it's for y'all. Steven Gilmore, nigga. We only giving it up to y'all. Go, go help them niggas beat time. Get them out of the way. I know they don't want to see that man keep winning, bro. The fans might do, but I don't know. Maybe the fans don't want them out there to see him win. Probably so. Because they, they got some diehard time fans. Even though it was the Patriots, a lot of them people were time, time fans. fans. They deep. Tampa fans now and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they done left the party, bitch. Shit, we went, we went, we Buccaneers. Yes, indeed. I tried to get my partners to come to Boston. My Patriot fan niggas that went. Mm-hmm. Nigga told me, shit, I'm a Tampa Bay fan. <laughs> I said, man, come on, man. I know who said that. How the <laughs> fuck? My partner, boss, man, is mad. Then went to um, Gillette, Gillette, however you see it, a few times. I'm thinking, this is easy. Yeah, yeah my dog going to come with me out there. He said, boy, I'm a Tampa fan. I said, oh, man, fuck. I think they was playing around that week or something about that. Man, that's it, boy. Everybody. Our Saints, we're going to be all right. We got to get our whole team together. Man, we're going to be we all gonna, right. We got a lot of people in. I think Davenport about to come back. We about to be good. Watch when Sean Payton let that boy go. He still he still just easing him out Fearing there. Him in. He making sure his confidence up. He would have got nine touchdowns, two picks. That's what you want. You want to see that on paper. You ain't playing the best just yet. But, you know, 9-2, we're going to get that monkey off your back because everybody keep throwing this 30 intercept shit out there. Mm-hmm. The man ain't threw for 30 intercepts every fucking year. It just was one year. He, he threw for 5,000 yards the same year. But let him get that shit out, see that he all right on paper, and he not even unleashing him yet. Michael Thomas going to come back. Chemistry going to get better. Mm-hmm. Dude gonna start throwing for 300, 400, having him some good ass yeah, games. games. You fucking right. Saints gonna be straight, man. Saints gonna be straight. Our D top notch, we gonna be straight. It's a long season, boy. Long season. It's a long season. Long season. Let me go back right quick, see. And yeah. I got one question too. When we uh when we get to the college, you got anything left for NFL? Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got a, a, a little bit left. We got it. Talk about a little more this week and give our picks. I got a few more relaxed we just to go over. KC did their thing, 42 points at Philly, 42-30. First time covering it. Yeah. I forgot what they said, some, such and such weeks. In in a year, 360-some days they covered. <laughs> Buffalo 40 to nothing, man. 40 nothing. They done... They done Egged the nigga twice already this year. Uh, Four to nothing, and they beat Miami 35 nothing. You feel me? Dallas came out to play Carolina, tried to play with them 36 20. Cleveland won us. Man, Dak won MVP. Now they got so many you people know, in the MVP. It's early, right man. Now. It's early right now. Shit gonna change. Shit gonna get there. You never know. Fuck. Derrick Henry could still win MVP. What? You know? What? Man, we already know you're the best bag in the league. He leading he the league in rushing. Back. Yeah, he leading the league he in rushing. He got 150 more yards. All the carries, brother. Man, come Chubb on, man. Right ain't up, no excuse. Sam. He Chubb ain't right number there. Two. Chubb number two. He right there. Yeah, he right by number three. He ain't right by number one, though. Yeah, he right by number one. If number one got 50 more carries than him. He got 150 more yards than him. And he him. got 50 more carries. He ain't got 50 more carries than him, man. I won't Chicago, see that. Justin Fields got his first win. Boom, the Jets got their first win against Tennessee, uh, Wobbly, Tennessee last year. I mean, last week. Your boy from Washington, man. Tyler, whatever his name is. They look quarterback balling, man. Saints play them balls right, yeah, this he week. got 150 more yards than him. Yeah, man, he ain't gonna, this is over with. Wait, hold up. I got to see the carriage, brother. Hey, check him out. Fuck that. I won't see. Seattle beat San Francisco in the division game. Arizona. Took care of business in that league, man. Kyler Murray. Now, that might be your MVP right there. I think he would be the front runner right now, Kyler Murray. Yeah, I saw see, the eyes on it. I think this it's man Kyler got Murray. 113 carries already, buddy. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll see what y'all got. 
He got 113 carries. Chubb probably got 80. Lord. Yeah, we feeding him. Yeah, Chubb got 69 carries. All right. So he Damn, 44 brother. more. He can't fuck with Chubb, dog. The Chubb got 69 carries, 362 yards. This nigga got... 113 carries? 113 carries. Number 510 one. 510 yards. Yeah, he only got like 150-something more yards, but he got... 40 more carries. <sighs> I feel you. <clears throat> He just played without his two wide receivers, too. And he getting that with any wide receiver. They showed you that. He gonna, I'm just saying, though. They, gonna make sure they had to try to rely on him last carries. year. That's 44 more carries. 113 to 69. 113 to 69 right now. But still, one thir- you got 113 and I got 69. And you got 5'10", and I got 362. I'm sharing this bitch with one of the best backs in the league. I'm sharing this pill with. But they know I'm the nigga. This nigga special too behind me, but I'm the nigga. Chubb the best back in the league, brother. <laughs> I, and look, he, when he was in college, he was the best back in college, brother. And they used to say Leonard Fournette, brother. He wasn't better than Leonard, son. He was the best okay. back in college, dog. He go wasn't ba- better than go Leonard, back dog. and pull the shit up. Go pull the shit up, brother. I'm he saying. Was the he best. didn't have a better year than Leonard. He had a better Leonard year. Leonard had that year stretch. He had a better career. Chubb towed his bitch up. Leonard stopped. Leonard barely played his see his junior year, man. Man, Leonard College stats ain't fucking with dudes. He's crazy, shit, man. man. Leonard coming college, sharing time and shit. Chubb coming college. Leonard ain't even coming college and start. What? I lost a hundred dollar bet to a nigga. Leonard did not start as a true freshman. Man, bet money right now. Mind, bet man. money. Bet money. So who is the real Williams? Jeremy Hill. Jeremy Hill. You fucking right. I Jeremy lost. Hill. I lost a hundred dollar bet to a nigga. I worked the construction site with on Canal when they were billing you. I never forget this year. They were billing you. Damn, Uni- Jeremy Hill, probably. Yeah, they were. Listen, they were billing <laughs> University Hospital. We was billing that bitch all working in there. Dude, who? I was working with man, like no one, fucking D, man. The, dude, I was working with one of the zone managers. You know Fuck I mean? no. Yeah, brother. Yeah, I lost the. He bet. already lost that bitch, huh? Yeah, I lost. Man, no D, I man. I lost the bet. Leonard didn't start as a true freshman. He was kick returning. He was getting that bitch. He was getting it. He would. He would kick return everything. Boy, Chubb come in the gate. Boy, the man. You know, we know Leonard was going to be the man, that, you know, but yeah. Yeah, that's RBU, though, LSU. Who the fuck can't go to Georgia? Georgia and... been RBU. Yeah, they had fucking some <laughs> niggas, too. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. They, 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 uh, girly, know. all these yeah, niggas, girl, too. Yeah, all the niggas, too. <laughs> Come on, man. But I ain't like, all our running backs go to the league. For sure. Yeah. We DBU, but all our running backs go. Mm-hmm. You barely got to be on the floor, on the field. You're going to the league. Right. For sure. Right. I can tell you that. Yeah. I can't believe he, uh, Leonard ain't started, dude. Leonard ain't started as a true freshman, brother. Mm-mm. Nope. Ain't no fucking way Leonard on the field and not start. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Yeah. Nigga argue me down. Nigga like say, bro, a true freshman running back ain't starting in Baton Rouge. I don't care who you is. I'm like, man, this nigga the number one nigga. Woo, 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 woo. Nigga like, man, ain't no true freshman going to start in Baton Rouge, brother. My people, boosters, these 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 was people we was working with who was like zone managers and shit, got the contract with the hospital and shit. They boosters and shit with LSU. Like, they was in with the program and shit. They, his dad and shit give money to LSU and shit. So, like, he really know what's going on. Dude was like, I'm telling you, brother, he not going to start as a true freshman. It's not going to happen. No, LSU just got too much talent, brother. You had Jeremy Hill and Hilliard. He was the third string running back in front of you. Real talk. He used to touch it, brother. I promise you. <laughs> Man said you was a third string running Leonard back. Leonard was bro. the third string running back in front of you. He was, brother. Um, um, your boy who I just said, Jeremy Hill and Hilliard. They was in front of him. He had a thousand yards his freshman year. They Ten start, touchdowns. 
Listen, brother, they start again. That was to him. He had ten touchdowns. He got. He, they was throwing it to him out the backfield. He was kick return. He ran. Ten rushing touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, brother. I'm telling you, like three. He had no, I'm telling you, like three of them bitches probably was against like ULL. He probably scored again. He, he scored man, in some SC. Yeah, no. I'm telling you, he scored. He didn't really. Um, listen, brother. When it mattered, he wasn't a starter in his freshman year, dog. When it was, it was Jeremy Hill and and and, and, and Kenny Hilliard. Them dudes was cold, brother. Big, could run. He, you know, like he wasn't taking no Jeremy Hill spot. Yeah, Jeremy Hill was cold. I mean, first round picks and shit. But man, on that note, on the LSU note too, bro. I think he gone, bro. I think Orgeron gone, bro. He out of here. He out of here, brother. It's Sean. Yeah, you 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 a good coach to run the program with. But you done lost time with the X's and O's and shit. You 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 the head coach, but you ain't really You can't really run the show. Yeah, he started, bro. Oh. They ain't even had no Jeremy Hill. Jeremy Hill wasn't now when they thought Jeremy Hill was there. And it ain't started his freshman year. He started, dude. He just started. Cause that first they just shared it more. But he was a starter. Yeah, 2016. 14. 14. 14, but you know, in Malachi, all them came in. They all were starters, though. They all started that first game, everything. I remember all that shit. Leonard scored his first touchdown and celebrated as the Heisman, remember? He didn't start that year. Yeah, he, he no, did. No, he didn't, bro. Who the fuck? Ain't nobody could have started. Only person was getting him with him was uh, Kenny Hilliard. Yeah, he, I'm telling you, Leonard didn't start, brother. I want you to pull up their depth chart, brother. He didn't start. I'm right here. I love Hill, the is the only nigga. nigga. And then the Him first, and Terrence the McGee. First, the first but game, you know, you know, the first game of the season, didn't Leonard was the third string running back his first man. Your shit fucked me up, dog. Man, no, indeed, I gotta pull man. that shit up. Yes, he was, dog. Then as the season, I'm talking about he started off the season. Now I don't know what happened after week three or whatever. We seeing we getting this nigga the ball. Woo woo. All right. Well, yeah. Look, at, out of thirteen games, he started six. By the tell you, that's right, how sure. I lost the bet, brother. He coming to the year third string. Now I could believe they eased they him in there, the, and he was the man the the last six games. You know, like you the starter for sure. I I could believe that, but he was always getting. He was the nigga. He was the one doing the getting the getting the doing the shit. And I don't even think they was that good his freshman year. They had Jamal Adams them and shit do. But he ran for nineteen hundred that that sophomore year where he ain't had to do nothing no more. Signed, sealed, and delivered. He better play it his junior year. Mm-hmm. All right, quick man, we gotta give our picks for this NFL for we jump to the car, you know, give a little bit on the car, you know. But our and picks, the NBA. I, you know, I gave you one fuck. Ooh, what you want? Cleveland. Lock. You got Cleveland again this week. Cleveland, lock. Cleveland plus two and a half. Cleveland, yeah, plus two and a half. We gonna say that. But if you go to a casino that got teasers, give the punch. Get a punch with Cleveland. That's a good game. Cleveland three and one, Chargers three and one. Mm-hmm. At the Chargers. And I'm going with that defense and that running game. You feel me? I'm going with Miles Garrett now. <laughs> Coming after that quarterback. I got and, a I got I got a I got a pick, man. I like I like Tennessee to bounce back. Julio or AJ Brown, one of them should be back this year. I mean this week. Against Urban Meyer and them Jacksonville, bro. I, I just got a feeling Urban Meyer going to be getting up out of there, bro. They ain't about to waste no Trevor Lawrence talent with, oh, with somebody who 
you know. Got all this going on. You know, and it wasn't much to me with that shit. But come on, man, you on full. It's like you gotta come win a game or something, bro. Joe Burrow ain't start off like this. <clears throat> no, I did no. He won a game early on, you know what I'm saying? He got hurt before. He won a game or two early on. But I like Tennessee to bounce back minus the uh, four and a half in Jacksonville. <laughs> you feel me? They're going to be booing Urban Meyer. I think they're going to try to get him out of there, bro. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to try to get him out of there. Derrick Henry going to cut up on them people. I got Tennessee. News got Cleveland. I'm going to give you one more. I'm going to give you one more. My, my other one going to be see how this weather looking in this game, man. Look like look like it might be might be all right. Let's see here. Let me fuck with that. And when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. I got another pick for you. Denver. Pittsburgh hit. I'm saying, who playing quarterback? That, that defense, it don't matter. Drew Locke was a starter before. That's why that game will pick it like that. Teddy ain't even playing, probably. Got a concussion. Pittsburgh desperately need to win a game and Denver favor. Yeah. Fuck if it's a half a perm. Denver favored in this game. Coming with their backup quarterback to a team that's one and four. Desperate for a win, a historic franchise like Pittsburgh, who desperate for a win at home. To me, they're telling you they're going to lose. Backup quarterback coming in, dog. We need us a win bad. We about to play Denver. We ain't even getting the division yet. We ain't even get the Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and Cincinnati yet. We ain't even play that yet. We about to play Denver, and we ain't even favored by a field goal at home. It's Pittsburgh. Denver the favorite. Love Denver. Pittsburgh down. They gonna keep. They they they're telling you they gonna keep getting kicked. They gonna keep getting stumped. <laughs> they gonna keep getting stumped on. Von Miller and them coming. Ben Rothenberg ain't gonna be able to do Ooh. shit. That running game, Melvin Gordon, them and shit. They must gonna beat them, dog. I think that's a good bet. I, I think that's like a good line read. I think that's a good bet, brother. But that you, you probably wouldn't fuck with that, huh? See, just just cause like your respect for Pittsburgh. Yeah, I probably stay away from it because I like yeah. Denver. Denver tough. I like them with Teddy. Even though Drew Lock cool, I just ain't seen much game. of it. Drew Lock a play. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? I just feel got like Pittsburgh may get back on track. I mean, he still got Ben Roethlisberger. I think the line is the problem right now. I'm not. Yeah, you, you know, Von Miller in that ball. The line's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> and you playing? And you playing? Good yeah. luck. <laughs> See. The- Good luck. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Good bad, luck. Bad matchup, Woo. Denver, a bad matchup you know, for them. You're having line problems and you about to play Denver. But this is what I'm saying. You know, Pittsburgh got great coaching. They know their line ain't that good. It don't, just, it don't just come down to mm-hmm. players, you know, every week. No, yeah, because on paper, it doesn't matter. We just sign somebody a championship. They may figure something out. It's, you know, it's a pick a game. It's a pick a game, but Pittsburgh ain't been playing good. Denver been playing sort of good. They, Teddy got hurt last game. Right. Had to switch it up. They kind of, you know, mm-hmm. lost their first game to Lamar them. You know, and you in Pittsburgh. I'm not sure about that one, but I feel you. Pittsburgh ain't playing good, you know. Woo-de-woo. Pittsburgh ain't playing good. I like Denver, so nah. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to say Denver and Cleveland. I got another one. I like the over in the KC Buffalo game. K, I mean, Buffalo got that D. The over high, 56. Yeah, he's going over. That's but, college numbers, man. But Josh Allen, Pat Mahomes, that second half is going to be it's crazy. It's going to be crucial. Gonna be it, could be, it could be fucking 10 7 halftime. Yeah. Gonna explode in the that second half. second half is going to be crazy, man. Everybody's going to be trying to, you know, I can't let him put it on this shit. We can't go get field goals against Pat Mahomes. No. So, you know, I like the over in the KC, man. But, um,. You know, and the Rams won tonight. Rams, Rams tonight, was my man. one of my picks too. Rams was giving three at, at and I, Seattle. And, uh, upset of the week, like I give y'all my upset. My upset is the Bengals over Green Bay. Yeah, I That's like that. My upset pick. 
I like that. That's since he's getting three at home. Since he's getting three at home. We like You go to your local bookie, he might get your four. Take the you purse. feel me? <laughs> that line went from Green Bay minus six to minus three. It opened up at six, dude. That's going to be a good game, though. That's my game of the week. The Green Bay at Cincy against Aaron Rodgers, Joe Burrow. You feel me? The new time Brady. You dig? Mm-hmm. Joe Burrow, the new time Brady, man. <laughs> the new man. time Brady, brother. You dig? On to this, NF- on to this NCAA for Saturday. Yeah, yeah your, your people. I told you, you know. <laughs> shout out to the Joe, bro. I hate to do y'all this year. Damn, bro. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they fuck my people up, man. Yeah. What's up, man? The, you know, see, Ole Miss started off the game against Alabama, though, getting down that shit. They went for it four times in Alabama territory. That when Alabama just took off and blew them out. They're going to blow Arkansas out. Certified lock. Ole Miss over Arkansas. Big. Put the house on it. 50-something, 20-something. Ole Miss, easy, lock. That's Arkansas. They started all good. They don't got to win another game, and they didn't have their best season in the last six years. If they don't win no more games, then what that tell you? They're about to get blowed out, brother. Right quick, they about to go right. With that. They about to go right back down the sides. Lane Kiffin ain't gonna play with them people. Blow out. No, put the house on it. Don't really put the house yeah, really put it on there. It's a blowout. <laughs> it's a I think blowout. Georgia a different animal than Ole Miss. Not offensively. Offensively, these people were slinging that bitch all over on Bama, but they, you know Bama adjusting shit. This Bama. Arkansas ain't adjusting this shit, dog. These people offense is really the truth, brother. The, the, that defense of Arkansas, that shit fake. The Arkansas defense ain't the truth on what them teams they play. They, they shit ain't the truth. Them people offense really the truth. <laughs> Real talk, brother. Them people offense really the truth. They just wasn't putting it in the end zone on Bama. You go back and look at the game, the yards, the, it was there. But this Alabama, they just couldn't put it in. Uh, Arkansas, they're getting in the box. You can believe that. They, when they play Arkansas, when they're getting down there to the three-yard line and all that, it ain't going to be four and go, and we going for it, and we ain't get in. It's going to be touchdown. It's different, brother. They're going to be, man, Arkansas ain't ready, but they're taking a the step forward. They took a the step forward. Boy, they ain't ready. Blow out. That's easy. That's easy. Easy, brother. <laughs> That's easy. Lock. You see something, see? That's easy. <laughs> Ooh, I see another one. If you ain't ready yet, I see another one. Mm, good. Oklahoma and the upset versus Texas. You know they play at the Red River. It's it's a neutral site. I like that. Oklahoma, I think. Spencer Rattler and Texas been looking good. Spencer Rattler finally played his good big game against Texas. I like Oklahoma. And dang, Oklahoma favorite in the game. Huh, bro? I like Oklahoma. Stay away from LSU. Kentucky. Stay away from LSU. Kentucky 5 and up. We fucked up. I don't bet against Kentucky. Yeah. Stay away from LSU. We fucked up. See, I would tell you take Kentucky, brother. I used to have been losing against Kentucky. Since Randall Cobb was there. And they always got a fucking receiver playing quarterback and shit. They just, I don't fucking bet against Kentucky. I don't play with them people. I forgot who the last dude was. Your boy went off, was playing wide receiver. All three of their quarterbacks got hurt. They put him in, he went to breaking all kinds of records and shit. Yeah, I don't fuck Rushing off. for five touchdowns, throwing for two and shit. He might do it. I wouldn't be surprised Kentucky beat him. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with LSU. Go against them. Oh. Got a nice top 10. I think this is a top 10 matchup. Penn State and Iowa. Penn State, Iowa. Big 10, Big Ten game. Oklahoma, Texas is going to be good, too. Yeah. I think 
think that Arkansas Ole Miss is going to be better than you think. Ole Miss can still cover, but I think it's going to be a better game than you think, dude. And you know, fuck. That Georgia Auburn should be okay. I think your boy uh, Auburn should, should should be all right. Georgia Auburn? Yeah. Georgia Auburn this weekend. 2.30. 15? Georgia? 15, uh, Ooh, I don't know which way they're going at. Yeah, Georgia giving Auburn 15. Georgia going to beat the sleeves out of them. At Auburn, too? When Auburn never got 15 at home? I don't remember yeah. that in the last 10 years. Yeah, that's hard because when they play Bama, it's usually been. You know, and the Iron Bowl, it's it's a ride, it's this a dude, Bo Nix, he beat Bama. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Quarterback. Well, yeah, boy, we not on this time. But, uh. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't got all, you know. I know we got, we got, we got some NBA to start to do, bro. Yeah, it's preseason, bro. Mellow, mellow, mellow look good from what I see. I like I like how mellow look right now, boy. Uh I like how the rose in them look. Them boys. I finally got to see it like with the, with, with them on the court together. Them boys look good, huh? <laughs> Caruso and them, man. Yeah, Ball dishing that bitch. Man, your boy did a fucking whole court pass. He don't get Jokic type of credit, but he could do Jokic type shit. Dude from Orlando. Vuvicic, whatever. Whatever his fucking dude name is. Dude cold, man. Dude, boy, dude cold as a motherfucker. Dude cold, man. Bulls gonna be good, man. Zach Levine, damn near superstar. Lonzo Ball, he can really, he probably can be a Jason Kidd type of nigga. Speaking of NBA. You feel me? Um, I want to check the stats. DeMar DeRozan, certified veteran who can come lead you every night if you need him to. Vooch is arguably one of the best centers in the league. They coming like that, man. Dude's coming like that. Caruso going to do his thing. You know, that's some shit happening in this first couple of preseason games, man. I want to shout out to fucking Jared Butler, bro. Jared Butler did his thing yesterday with Jared Utah, Butler, man. Cool. Yeah, like 22, I think there was a game high. Mm-hmm. Who is this? Mike Conley? What Mike Conley? He gone. Where he went? Mike Conley in Utah. He's in Utah, yeah. yeah. So he going to be behind Mike Conley. They going to be tough. He damn near similar to Mike Conley. You know? With a little bit more game, with a little Kyrie in him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Can shoot that bitch. I ain't got, you know, the handle. But, um... Another thing with uh this vaccine, Christmas. man. They said Clay be back for Christmas. Say, bro, the people still gonna be a problem, bro. Steph is a fucking problem, brother. You saw Steph <laughs> shot that bitch the other day. As soon as he left his hand, he just turned around and walked the other way. Ran back the other way laughing. Yeah, yeah you know, he do his thing. All best shooter, <laughs> best All shooter next. ever, you know. And like, like I said, if Clay come back to 85%, they're a problem. Far as if he could move 85% back of what he used to, how he used to move, I don't give a fuck. The way them niggas shoot, they shoot that shit in their sleep. They ain't losing that. They ain't losing that, brother. They, they ain't gonna losing. be tough, bro. They, they ain't losing tough. that. Them motherfuckers going to be tough. And now they role players fit they shit. That little dude pool and all that. Uh, the left hand dude, Aubrey, they fit they shit. They still I like gonna be, Wiggins too. Yeah, they, t- I feel like if you ain't LeBron them, and that big you boy probably good. ain't gonna beat them, brother. And they big boy good. Like it's a game, dog. If you ain't LeBron them, you probably still ain't gonna beat them bitches. I don't think Phoenix are nothing safe against them. Denver, the Clippers are nothing. I just think it's 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 tougher now because them teams who were so-so, 
they got better leadership and shit now, like Phoenix, Lillard and them. Lillard, it's still going to be hard to beat Lillard. He, you know, him and uh, McCullough and them with Golden State, that's a good matchup now. You know, even though Golden State making, we got to see how it plays out, but uh. that's going to be tough with Lillard, man. Dallas, Luka and them, man. Luka going to come and try to beat whoever against, whoever on the other side. Yeah, but guess what? Luka and them, man, he still ain't ready for that. I still feel like they'll fuck Luka and them up. Clean them. And I feel you, but look, <laughs> to me, Luka, I just, I just, I just get LeBron-ish from him. Oh, fuck him It's just hard to beat him. It's like it don't matter if he had Booby Gibson them or not. That's just how I feel about Luca. Like that nigga gonna go getting past that fucking hump. He probably the best in the league. You see, he beat niggas by himself. Kawhi and them boy, y'all had to deal with that boy. He really could have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he ain't had no help really. You know, niggas wasn't really showing up for him. Mm -hmm. But oh snap, West man, it was tough, bro. Of course, the Lakers fuck. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? And the Clippers. It's gonna be tough trying to beat the club with their bigger guards who could play right with you. And you know, another, uh, my comeback player of the year. I'm fucking with Jaron Jackson Jr. I fuck with him, dog. Six ten, could dribble the ball, could shoot, could play around the goal. He really skilled and talented. I want to see what he gonna do and turn into. Ja need him. Like I think they gonna, you know. I think some some could happen with that with with job with him with Jaron Jacks, two first round picks him and him and Jaron. I like Jaron though. And I got, I got uh, I got your boy, bro. I'm fucking with Jalen Green and with Houston, bro. They got some little young talent over there. Jalen Green and Kevin Porter Jr. They gonna be balling. Christian Woods and them. They gonna be young and, and surprising people. And what about that red dude people. last year? Showed his ass for Memphis, man. Red. Oh, yeah. Player. I forgot his name. Um, <laughs> who tried to show his nuts to LeBron. LeBron had to deal with him right All quick. Right. Um, damn, I forgot his name. Red, man. Memphis going to be better, though. Mm -hmm. John going to be coming, bro. John, John. And I'm telling you, Jaron Jackson, him out there going to take him to. They went to the playoffs and all that without him. He missed the whole year. Mm -hmm. Like, they come back, he played a few minutes and all that. Try to play him in the playoffs, but dude wasn't ready. Dude is 6'11", bro. Could dribble, shoot the three and everything. He cold. And he physical. Get around the goal, dunking on you and everything. He cold, brother. Jaron, cold. Come out Michigan State, that same system. Draymond come 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 out. You know what I'm saying? He nice. Yeah, yeah Memphis going to be Memphis gonna be something to deal with, too. We going to go ahead on and wrap this here one up. Yeah, bro. Got some good games this weekend. We be back next you week. You dig? Yeah, man. Yeah, and you know, don't fuck with that as you. That's all I got to say this week. I don't got something to say. I don't got nothing to say crazy this week. LSU, don't fuck with him. <laughs> LSU, don't fuck with him, baby. You hear me? Fuck with the Saints. Fuck with the Saints. We got Washington. We got a tough one with Washington, man. Fuck, fuck with the Chase Saints. Chase Young number, man. Sean P. going to pull that shit yeah, out, dude. Like Smoking sports, baby. Smoking sports, you feel baby. me? We out.